so excited and thrilled that you're here. If you don't know me, my name is Greta Monahan. You are here tonight in my salons. We're here in Boston. My biggest goal tonight that I wanna share with you is really that I wanna walk you through and give you step-by-step -step secrets, but to really share with you Revlon Total Color. So I'm gonna give you all of that, but for now, I wanna jump in because I actually have live models, real women that I love that are here to share their color story with you. So Hannah is in my salon. You guys, first of all, I have to yell it out. Hannah has never colored her hair before, so she is a total first timer. Let me talk to Raina. I mean, Raina, you are the polar opposite of Hannah. That's why I love having you girls here tonight. Let's meet Jessica. Jessica is so frightened to color her hair, but she's dying to. Grab your box of color, whatever it is, or just hang out and watch. Whatever you wanna do, this is our night and we're gonna have an amazing time. So Hannah's in my salon. She has her private area. I wanna let Hannah introduce herself and also share her hair color story. All right, awesome. I have these grays. I particularly have this one this one streak over here, um, and I've been super hesitant to dye it, um, just because I don't want to, you know, maintain it at a salon all the time. So I'm really looking forward to using this product tonight. If I can do it, anybody can do it. So yeah, Greta, I can't wait to get started. I'm going to actually walk through your box of color with you, okay. so that you, right from the top, know exactly what to do. So I put your color right next to you, which is light natural brown. Okay. You should find three pieces to your kit, a number one color developer bottle. Yeah. That's right. Number two, the cream colorant will be in a tube. Oh, yep, right here. And number three, but we're gonna put her aside, our conditioning gloss. Okay, so one and two. What you're gonna do first is you're gonna put on your gloves. Number one, I want you guys to protect your hands and your skin no matter what. So now you're gonna take your bottle of color developer, you're gonna open it up. All right. And you're gonna take your cream colorant. These are all pre-measured, guys, so you don't have to worry about anything. You're gonna, you're gonna actually empty the entire tube right into your color bottle. Yep. When you're done, to you're go. gonna close back up your bottle. Good. Now this is really important. You know when you put on your makeup, all of the pros say to blend, blend, blend? Well, I want you to remember tonight with your home hair color kit, you gotta shake, shake, shake. Because these two formulas have to blend and get in there together. So just think about it. Like if you were baking or doing anything else, really give that a good shake. All right. Once you are ready and that's really well blended, great, perfect you are actually gonna start applying, just like that. So what I want you to do, Hannah, is right in there, exactly, bullseye. See that gray? This is my first gray tip of the night. You have to apply to the grayest area first. So I know that we talk about where to have partings and sections, but when you're dealing with gray, you really wanna get that color right on that gray first because that's what needs the most time and the most work to get covered. So go for it, girl. Apply right to the root. You just put it right on your part area, right in there. Apply into the gray. You might need to give it a shake. One of the things I love about it is it's so creamy. It's creamy, it doesn't drip. She's gonna apply it. You can apply it right to the root area. That's perfect. And don't even worry about going down. Just put it right on that part area with the nozzle. And you can actually work right from the front of your head hairline and go back right through the part. And what I'll have you do, Hannah, is you're gonna take half inch sections, use the nozzle of your, of your actual bottle to just make partings. And you can even use your gloved hand. So don't worry about being too neat. We always say you don't have to be because the color does all the work for you. But I'm gonna have you take sections and continue down that side of your head and then I'm gonna come back and check in with you. So what does it mean to be clean? For Total Color, it's pretty amazing. No ammonia, no animal derivatives, no parabens, no sulfates, no silicones, no phthalates, and no gluten pretty incredible. So it's free of the old ingredients that honestly did not make your color any better. In fact, those ingredients at times could feel harsh. Okay, so we're on to Raina. I'm so glad to see you. I'm so happy to see you. <laughs> so Raina, tell everybody your color story. Absolutely. So I have done it all. I've bleached my hair blonde. I've done highlights, lowlights. I've chopped it off, grown it out. It's, we've, it's been a journey. 
You have done so much to your hair. You told me everything, but here you are, you've grown out your hair, and now what's your goal? Well, I've never actually colored my hair myself, so I'm really excited to have some nice, shiny, lustrous hair. I'm a naturally curly gal, so really get these curls popping and, and just cover these grays. <laughs> I know, right? Show everybody your grays, because here's the deal, everybody at home. She does not have a lot of gray, but Raina has coarse gray. She has all these beautiful soft curls, but that little bit of gray is what she's worried about and she's right on because that's typically going to be resistant. What Raina wants is a super like natural, glossy, shiny, enhanced color. So we're going to go for it. So let me give you guys this. The typical processing time, which I love, is only 25 minutes for everybody. But if you have coarse or stubborn hair, I'm going to recommend you leave it on an extra five. So Jess, tell everybody about your hair color story. So I love my red hair and I just really want to add a little bit of color and vibrance and shine to it. So I want to keep my red but just enhance it a bit. It's totally cool and you know when I talk to Jess, it's just what she said. She said, everyone all my life has said my hair is beautiful and I said to her, there is no reason that you have to dive in and change your entire color. So for Jessica, I'm going to share with you guys our first creative application. This is a DIY. So Jess, you're going to see a couple of things on your cart. I see a brush, chopsticks, and a straw. <laughs> exactly. So this is for everybody at home that ever wanted to do something creative and thought to themselves, uh, I don't have all of these salon tools. Well, guess what? You don't really need them because I'm going to show you a really cool way to add a little kick and a boost to your natural color, but to do it with things you have hanging around. Pastry brush. I don't know about you, but I never use this. And I know all my friends, including Katie Lee, everybody, Jada, they're all gonna say, why? Why don't you use it? But this really works. This is good on hair. So basically what you're gonna do is take your bottle after, you're gonna shake it, you're gonna put a little bit on the pastry brush. So all you have to do is just take that, yep. Okay, Yes. Like this? Okay. Exactly. And just give it a little, just awesome. right down. Perfect. And you wanna put the majority of the product on the ends, that's right. And it's really just giving you this superficial, beautiful little smudge of enhancement that occurs. Think about when we blend eyeshadow and color and cosmetics. That's all I'm doing. I'm just hitting the surface. I'm not doing it. Jessica, you're doing it and you're doing an amazing job. Just the surface to give her that beautiful shimmer where it's meant to be. You don't have to put this up at the root area because nobody wants that. It doesn't look natural. And it also, by applying, we call this mid shaft to ends, by applying it like this, you get that really cool, uneven balayage. And it's really great because the pastry brush actually works amazing to give you that gorgeous shimmer. Now, Jess, just to give you a little tip, whether you had a little straw or you had chopsticks, which we can show, but let's do this first, it's so fun. You can do little lines, a little extra layering of that color over and above if you wanna see it look a little bit, a little streaky. We can do that, okay? But go on with that, because I love how that's looking. All right, so we gotta check in with Hannah now. Hannah, how are you doing? Hi, got it good. Um, so far, so good. Oh my gosh, you've got it. Yeah. Really great. I, yeah, see, so easy, right? So easy, and you know what? It actually smells really good. I'm glad you said it, because I can't get over if there is not that ammonia odor. Yeah. Don't you not miss that? Mm -hmm. I absolutely love that you can smell all the botanical. It just smells amazing and, and fresh. All right, great. Well, you're going to be on a total of 25 minutes, so you don't have long to go. Awesome. Thanks. All right, now I'm going to go over to Raina, you guys. Hi. I feel like I've gotten most of the gray coverage here, so I'm excited to see how it works. Good. I love it. So for Raina in particular, one of the things she was concerned about with good reason is she didn't want her ends to get too dark. So she's applying right at the root area, just drawing through. And then one of the best tips I have, if you're someone who ends up with getting color too saturated on the ends, maybe your hair is dry or damaged or you do a lot of chemical treatments on your hair previously, best tip ever, take a little bit of the conditioner that comes in the box 
and just spritz the ends with a little bit of water so that it's easy to spread around and put that conditioner right on the ends of your hair, all over the ends, and that's it. And what that does is it gives you extra time to condition and gloss and shine, but it also serves as a way to protect the mids and ends so that when we rinse out that root area color, it doesn't darken us in any way, shape, or form. So it's just a really good tip. We do it all the time in the salon. All right, I'm gonna check in on Hannah. Where are you? Hey, Greta. I am oh ready goodness. for the next step. Natalie, I'm did nice you wash and clean. Hannah? <laughs> yeah, oh, I I'm, love it. I'm, I'm washed I didn't up. expect you to be done yet. So now, do you have number three, your tube there? A I conditioning do. gloss. So we know that the botanical conditioning gloss comes in every single box, but what you don't know is that each of them are specially formulated for their color families. This blew my mind. So what you're gonna use, yours actually has camellia oil and sesame oil. So the sesame oil is for the brunette family. Your hair is thick, so you might wanna apply up to half a tube but I'm gonna have you apply that all over. And if you think that the color felt good, cool and beautiful and amazing on your scalp and hair, wait till you put this conditioner on. You're not gonna believe it. The shine is off the hook. Raina, are you there? Hey girl, yes! Look at this hair! Oh, oh my gosh! Wow, you look amazing! Okay, I can't wait anymore. Jessica, are you done? I'm finished. I love it. I've never felt my hair so soft before. Hannah, you look unbelievable. You gotta lean in a little. Can I see? Look at this. Oh, wow. That is so shiny, so beautiful. There's no gray. How does it feel? It feels amazing. Oh, you look absolutely stunning. I, I'm blown away. Gotta thank you guys. Thank you for bearing with me. This is my first time and I hope to be back with you. I have so many exciting ideas and so many things I wanna teach you. Thank you so much and thanks to Revlon for having me and for being here at my salon. I'm so happy to be home doing this with you. Here's to happy hair coloring.